What's up everybody, I'm Mike and this is another custom action figure. I still think a doll sounds more fun to say, but you may call it whatever you want. Out of all modern superheroes, Spider-Man is by far my favorite. Technically speaking, being Spider-Man would suck a lot. Not as much money as Batman, not as powerful as Superman, and unless you live in an area like New York, web-slinging probably won't work. But what I just love about Peter Parker is exactly that. I love seeing him struggle and overcome obstacles. I'll probably make a top 5 video of my favorite Spider-Man stories I wanna see on film just for the fun of it. Over the years Spidey had more costumes than I owned dolls. But out of all his looks, I just adore the symbiote. The blue hoodie version of Scarlet Spider only tops it just slightly, but Black Spider-Man is a pretty close second. So about the figure. I sculpted the head myself and used a body of Kraven the Hunter as a base. Kinda funny considering Kraven once dressed up in this exact outfit. It makes him look more muscular, but I always felt like the symbiote should make Spider-Man look a bit more muscular. But you can also just pretend it's a skinny venom. If you want to see how Spidey got painted, I have provided a tutorial on how to paint your own cool Spider-Man toy down below. And you can also just click the annotation. You can expect more videos like this in the future, not to give too much away, but I'm currently also working on a Telltale Batman. If you want to see me actually paint or sculpt a specific doll, why not drop a comment down below. If that is something you'd like to see, I'll figure out how to properly shoot it. With Spidey, I also applied a thin layer of gloss varnish on his eyes to give them a more reflective look. I don't believe in just slapping on a coat of paint and calling it a day. I love to add as much detail as humanly possible. In order to get in more detail, I use soft oil-free pastels. After scratching the paint down to a soft powder, I can apply it to the surface similar to makeup and create a couple of different shades. In order to get certain highlights just right, I used acrylics mixed in with pastels and heavily watered down acrylics to paint the entire doll. Whenever I film I try to be somewhere between 100 and 300 mm focal length with a telephoto lens. This creates softer edges with a clear focus on the eyes and face. Anything below 50 only has the risk of image distortion and the only thing you'll see me adjust in post is some minor white balance and color grading to make him look like he also does in my hand. I want to give you a full view of the sculpt and for that I also switch up the lighting every now and then because different lights also create a different look. I hope you enjoyed this, like and subscribe if you do, comment down below what you wanna see me do next or what I should improve. I'll be back soon with another figure. Remember to check out my site, the link is down below. You'll also find tons of images and links for DeviantArt, Figure Realm and ArtStation. And my shop on Etsy, if you ever feel like getting a unique and crazy gift idea for a friend. Now enjoy a couple of more shots of Spidey without my narration. Thank you again for tuning in and remember as always, it's just painted plastic.